What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the October. So we just got done with phase one of Marvel. So now we're moving on to phase two with Iron Man 3. We just checked out the Avengers, guys. It was so funny. It was honestly such a good movie. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a really long time. I know you really like that movie. You were cracking up. Iron Man 3, baby. You want to tell us something about this movie? Yeah, it was directed by Shane Black, which is a different director than the first two. We'll yeah. see what happens here. And it came out in 2013. I really can't wait for this one because Tony Stark is hilarious and him and Pepper are now together, like officially. So what about that dynamic? Like, they are so wait. funny. I cannot wait to see these guys because this is one of those romances that's just meant to be. Their chemistry is so good. So one thing about this series so far, guys, I'm having a really hard time predicting what's going to happen next. So I'm not going to try to play Nostradamus here. We're just going to sit back, watch some Iron Man 3 and see what happens. But a lot of people were saying that phase two is a lot different from phase one. So we are going to be aware of that. So I'm going to be looking for anything that I see different in like the production of the movies or the way that they're shot or filmed or portrayed. Without talking too much, guys. Iron Man 3, let's go. Let's go. A famous man once said, we create our own demons. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it. I'm gonna start again. Let's track this from the beginning. Yo, listen up. Okay, did you expect that at all? No, but I love this song. I can't wait to see the actual lyrics to this because I people lied to me. They talking about the I'm blue, I'm in need of a guy. 99, boo. What's up? I gave a speech. How was it? Edifying. Unintelligible. Mr. Stark. Oh, Jensen. I finally met a man called Hope. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to our guest, Dr. Wu. Your heart doctor. She's going to need a cardiologist, that's right. <laughs> Perhaps another time? His name was Jensen. The old days. Never thought they'd come back to bite me. Why would they? Oh, hey, Tony. Aldrich Killian. Uh, I'm a big fan of your work. Miss Hanson, my organization's been you. tracking your right. research since year two of MIT. Well, what's where you going to, pal? The ground floor, actually, of a proposal I'm putting together myself. It's a privately funded think tank called Advanced Idea Mechanics. Uh, she'll take both. One to throw Aim. away and one to not call. Aim, for short. That's dope. See that, because it's on your t-shirt. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, the mullet? He's first. Oh, the mullet. <laughs> I'm titillated by the notion of working with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. these clowns. I'll see you up on the roof in five minutes. I thought that was just a theory. Well, it was. If I'm right, we can access the area of the brain that governs repair. Wow, that's incredible. Essentially, you're hacking into the genetic operating, operating system. system of a exactly. living organism. Can you not what? touch my plant? She doesn't like it. <laughs> Come on, let's go in the bedroom. She's not like the others. Leave her ficus alone. What? Well, <laughs> the limb regrow. Instantly grew back. You're the most gifted woman I've ever met. Wow. The We're good. <laughs> what was that? It's a glitch in my work. It's glitch. She was just talking about a glitch just happened. It's not Y2K. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, we thought it was Y2K. <laughs> it is year 2000. It was 99. I know, but I didn't put it together that he thought that thing glitched out because it was Y2K. Uh-oh. He's going to ditch him. Why am I telling you this? Because I had just created demons and I didn't even know it. Then I moved on. After a brief soiree in an Afghan cave, I said goodbye to the party scene. Forgot that night in Switzerland. Please, may I request just a few hours to calibrate? Nope. <laughs> ah. Micro repeater implanting sequence complete. I've also prepared a safety briefing for you to entirely ignore. Why do they have a dunce cap on? <laughs> How did you get that cap on your head? You earned it. Sir, may I remind you that you've been awake for nearly 72 hours? That's you. I'm pleased to announce the imminent arrival. Start Titan and go away. Mark 42, autonomous prehensile propulsion suit test. Initialize sequence. Jarvis, drop my needle. <laughs> What is he doing? <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah, that'd come in handy after the last movie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little fast. Slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Uh-oh. Come on. I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> Then I had to go and turn on the TV. That's when he happened. Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. America. Ready for another lesson. In 1864 in Sand Creek, Colorado, the U.S. military waited till the friendly Cheyenne Braves had all gone hunting. Waited to attack and slaughter the families left behind to claim their land. 39 hours ago, the Ali Al Salam Air Base in Kuwait was attacked. I did that. A quaint military church filled with wives and children, of course. The soldiers were out on maneuvers. 
President Ellis. You continue to resist my attempts to educate you, sir. And now, you've missed me again. You'll never see me coming. Damn, what a propaganda promo. Right. Central to my administration's response to this terrorist event is a newly minted resource. I know him as Colonel James Rhodes. Let's go. Whoa, I like Fire. it. Fire. I like it. The Iron Patriot. President Ellis responding by taking the guy they call War Machine and giving him a paint job. Same suit, but painted red, white, and blue. <laughs> it tested well with focus group. <laughs> War Machine was a little too aggressive. <laughs> so what's really going on, Commander? Can we talk about this guy? It's classified information, Tony. There have been nine bombings. The public only knows about three. Nobody can ID a device. There's no bomb casing. You know I can help. I got a ton of new tech. I got a prehensile suit. I got a, I got bomb disposal. Catches explosions mid-air. People are concerned about you, Tony. I'm concerned about you. Do you mind signing again? If Richard doesn't mind, you are right with this, yeah. Dick? If Richard doesn't mind. What's your name? Aaron. I'd love to you in a Christmas story, by the way. <laughs> wow. Stopping the Mandarin is priority. It's not superhero business. No, it's not, quite it. frankly. It's American it. business. So I said I got it. Okay. <laughs> Broke the crayon. Are you okay, okay. Mr. Dark? How did he get out of the wormhole? Oh my god. That, did you see what he wrote on that? <laughs> he just got his suit parked outside. Check the heart. Check the, check the, is it the brain? No sign of cardiac anomaly or a new brain activity. Uh-uh. Good old fashioned anxiety. A severe anxiety attack. You need some sleep. Me? Come on, man. This isn't a good look. Open up. Sorry, I got to split. Badge. <laughs> Badge. Badge, guys. I put a memo in the toilet. Come on. <laughs> so you're suggesting that I replace the entire janitorial staff with robots. <laughs> I am thrilled that you are now the head of security. Okay? It is the perfect position for you. You don't have to thank We've me. We've had a rise in staff complaints of 300%. <laughs> Clearly somebody's trying to hide something. I, excuse me. Yes. Ms. Potts, your four o'clock is here. Did you clear Thank this you. four o'clock with me? Happy. We'll talk about this later. We'll deal with this very annoying thing. I used to work with him and he used to ask me out all the time. <laughs> Kill you? What on earth have you been doing? Nothing fancy. Five years in the hands of physical therapists. That was that guy that Tony Stark ditched. <laughs> <laughs> After years dodging the president's ban, immoral biotech research, my think tank now has a little something in the pipeline. It's an idea we like to call extremis. Wow. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. That's that's the universe. That's the brain. Strangely mimetic, though, wouldn't you say? Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, it's mine. This, you're inside my head. It's a, it's a live feed. Come on. Now, pinch my arm. I can take it. Pinch me. <gasps> what is that? It's the primary somatosensory cortex. It's the brain's pain center. But this is what I wanted to show you. Now, extremis harnesses our bioelectrical potential, and it goes here. This is essentially an empty slot, and what this tells us is that our mind, our entire DNA, in fact, is destined to be upgraded. Is this forehead of security? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what happened when I told people I was Iron Man's bodyguard? They would laugh in my face. So she's meeting up with a scientist, rich guy, handsome. Right. So I run his credentials, I make him. Aldrich Killian. We actually met the guy back in, where were we in 99, the science conference? Switzerland. First it was fine, they were talking business, but now it's like getting weird. He's showing her his big brain. His one? Big brain, and she likes it. Here, let me show you. <laughs> Hold on. See? See what I, can't, I don't have to flip the screen. <laughs> don't talk about that anymore. You're not my boss. All right? I don't work for you. And I don't trust this guy. He's got another guy with him. He's shifty. Seriously? I'm just asking you to secure the perimeter. You know what? You should take more of an interest in what's going on here. This, this woman's the best thing that ever happened to you, and you're just ignoring her. A giant brain? Yeah, there's a giant brain. There's a shifty character. I'm going to follow this guy. <laughs> I'm going to run his plates, and I'm going to, you know, if it gets rough, so be it. <laughs> At least he's worried about it. Now you're off with the super friends. I don't know what's going on with you anymore. Imagine if you, you couldn't flip the screen around. <laughs> any living organism. The code oh, is DNA. That would be incredible. Mm. Unfortunately, to my ears, it also sounds highly weaponizable. As in enhanced soldiers, private armies, and Tony is Tony. Not... You know, I invited Tony to join AIM 13 years ago. He turned me down. But something tells me now there's a new genius on the throne. Who... You tried like one time. Be persistent, bro. It's gonna be a no, Aldrin, as much as I'd like to help you. I respect that, Miss Potts. I feel like he's gonna attack them now. Yeah, forget him. He's trying to slide out like a snake. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you again, remember? Boy, stop. <laughs> Iron Man gonna have to pull up and beat you a little. <laughs> Car's ready, if you're ready to go. Yes, I just, um, God, I forgot my other things, so. 
<laughs> you trust him? You happy? There's no, this new guy. Oh, no. When he got ditched on the roof, I already knew he was going to be the bad guy. Yeah, for sure. Because he's like, little did I know on this day. 99. Aw. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm what are they supposed to do with that? <laughs> What is that, like Mark 15? Uh, yeah. Mark 42. <laughs> Breaking it in. He's got so many models. Pinchy in the gooey bag at first, so. <laughs> well, hey, did you see your Christmas present? I don't want to harp on this, but did you like the uh, customer of it? Did I like it? Well, Nailed it, right? Wow. I appreciate the thought very much. So why don't you lift up that face mask and give me a kiss? Beep, bonk, beep, beep. Damn it. No can do. You want to just kiss it on the, the uh -huh. facial slit? <laughs> At least let me get you like a hazmat suit. You can Geiger counter or something like that. Busted. This is a new level of lame. You ate without me already on date night? Well, I finished up a little work. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know if you were coming home or you were having drinks with Aldrich Killian. Oh. <laughs> Aldrich Killian? What are you checking up on me? Happy was concerned. No, you're spying I on wasn't. me. I'm going to bed. Hold on. Come on. Hey, I admit it. Sorry, I'm a piping hot mess. It's been going on for a while. I haven't said anything. Nothing's been the same since New York. Gods, aliens, other dimensions. I'm, I'm just a man in a can. The only reason I haven't cracked up is probably because you moved in, which is great. I love you. I'm lucky. But honey, I can't sleep. I tinker. Threat is imminent, and I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. And my suits, they're, they're part of me. A distraction. Maybe. Well, they're his identity. <laughs> What was that about? Those things would have to be out in the house. I recalibrate sensors. So we catch my breath. Hey, don't, don't go, Pepper. I want to see downstairs. He busted that thing <laughs> open easy though, didn't he? Can you regulate? Yes, I can regulate. Sure about that. Yes. <laughs> it's a decent batch. Don't say that number did nothing for you. What are you doing, buddy? You out by yourself? A little date night? Seen your favorite chick flick, maybe? A little movie called The Party's Over, starring you and your junkie girlfriend. No kidding. <laughs> Happy no Help me. Boy he's about to blow up. Oh my god. Whoa. I'm assuming that has something to do with that extremist. So. Yeah, for real. Get up, Happy. We can't lose another one, y'all. What in the world? I don't even know what. Is he okay? True story about fortune cookies. They look Chinese, but they're actually an American invention. Do you know that? Which is why they're hollow, full of lies, <laughs> and leave a bad taste in the mouth. I like them. Mr. President. Oh, I know this must be getting frustrating, but this season of terror is drawing to a close. And don't worry, the big one is coming. Your graduation. His propaganda is pretty bad. Beep. Sunday night's PBS, Downton Abbey. That's a show he thinks it's elegant. One more thing, make sure everyone wears the badges. He's a stickler for that sort of thing. Plus, my guys won't let anyone in. <laughs> We're awaiting the arrival of Tony Stark. We're hoping he'll give us the reaction. Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark. Hey, Mr. Stark, when is somebody gonna kill this guy? Is that what you want? Here's a little holiday greeting. I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. I just didn't know how to phrase it until now. My name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. So I've decided that you just died, pal. I'm going to come get the body. There's no politics here. It's just good old-fashioned revenge. Here's my home address. 10880 Malibu Point. 90265. That's what you want, right? I don't know, man. Tony Stark's crazy. He's just one guy, though. This is a whole country's. You know what I'm saying? They're foreign affairs. He's dabbling in. Virtual crime scene reconstruction. What do we got here? Name is an ancient Chinese war mantle, meaning advisor to the king. Looks like a Baptist preacher. <laughs> Pageantry going on here. Lots of theater. Close. The heat from the blast was in excess of 3,000 degrees Celsius. Any subjects within 12.5 yards were vaporized instantly. No bomb parts found in a three-mile radius of the Chinese theater. No, sir. Talk to me, Happy. Whoa, that's crazy. What is a bomb, not a bomb? Any military victims? 
Not according to public records, sir. Bring up the thermogenic signatures again, factor in 3,000 degrees. Accessing satellites and plotting the last 12 months of thermogenic occurrences now. Go away everywhere that there's been a Mandarin attack. Nope. You sure that's not one of his? It predates any known Mandarin attack. The incident was the use of a bomb to assist a suicide. Right. The heat signature is remarkably similar. That's two military guys. Ever been to Tennessee, Jarvis? Creating a flight plan for Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still at Ding Dong? We're supposed to be on total security lockdown. Come on, I threatened a terrorist. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> your home address. Right there's fine. She's brave for walking in there. You don't remember. <laughs> That's that girl. Don't take it personally. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. Gluten-free waffles, sir. Not here. It's urgent. Normally, I'd go for that sort of thing, but now I'm in a committed relationship. It's... Please don't tell me there's a 12-year-old kid waiting in the car that I've never met. He's 13. No, I need your help. But what for? Why now? Sorry, with Happy in the hospital, I didn't know we were expecting guests. We weren't. It's an old no, girlfriend. I, she's not Listen, really. No, not really. I, it, it was just one night. Yep. Going out of town. Okay, we've been through this. Nope. Yep. The man and says no. Immediately and indefinitely. Honey. Great idea. Let's go. I'm sorry, that's Bags. a terrible idea. Please don't touch your bags. What's up with that rabbit, though? <laughs> It's a dog. No, it's not. It's got titties, babe. It's a wing dog. Why's it got titties? Oh, it's a bunny. Did you see him? I no, he said it. You told me you liked it. I don't like it. Only asked you three. Oh, you don't like it. We are leaving the house. That is not even up for discussion. Can we, um... <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Not Pepper. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet. You a real one, Tony Stark. That was fire. Oh my God. I don't want to see Pepper get hurt because it's Tony Stark. I got you. That's kind of cool that Pepper's suited up right now, actually. So this is the terrorist attacking this house? I don't know. I don't know if that extremist and the terrorist guy are connected. I have no idea. Stop stopping. Get her. Get out. The Mandarin? Oh, she's about to be all about these suits now. Isn't it funny you can tell she's a girl in there? <laughs> Just by like her the way she's walking. <laughs> I can oh my gosh. Tony! I know he should make a pink one for her. Well first thing needs to get out of this. Oh my gosh. Uh, Miss Potts is clear of the structure. <laughs> he took it back. Oh, it's about to be on now, uh -huh. boy. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Jarvis, where's my flight power? Working on it, sir. This is a prototype. That's one. Whoa. Tactical. Run, Pepper. Run, Pepper. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> no. That's all his work. Everything. Mm -mm. Well, moral of the story, don't give out your address. Oh my gosh. Tony! Where's his homies at though, dude? Like, we could use the Hulk right now. We could use Hawkeye, somebody. I'm happy to call him as super friends. How are you still flying? Sir, take a deep breath. What? Okay, Jarvis. <laughs> Light power restored. Tony Stark thought of everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. Alright, kill the arm. I got it. <sighs> oh, he's out in the cold too. Ow. <laughs> he always has to bust it. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Snowing, right? Where are we, upstate? You're five miles outside of Rose Hill, Tennessee. Why? <laughs> Not my idea. <laughs> he said, why? <laughs> I actually think I need to sleep now, sir. <gasps> He's just going to sleep. The suit's done. Don't leave me, buddy. Yeah, you all alone, Tony Stark. That anxiety's about to start acting up. <laughs> hmm. 
Poor Iron Man. This is a low. Dragging his suit across the snow. <laughs> Transferring to all known receivers. I need to find this guy. You gotta stay safe. That's all I know. I just stole a poncho from a wooden Indian. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> i'm trying to like hold it in sometimes when i'm laughing so hard because i don't want to be like too much i know that's why the terrorist hates him because he stole that poncho from that wooden indian oh my god Please don't move what does he have a marshmallow gun oh potato gun what's that thing on your chest electromagnet you should know i've got a box from right here what does it power is that Iron Man? Technically, I am. Who is this little boy? <laughs> what happened to him? Life. If I was building Iron Man and War Machine? It's Iron Patriot now. That's way cooler. No, it's not. <laughs> I would have added in um, the retro... Retro reflective panels? To make him stealth mode. You want a stealth mode? Cool, right? That's actually a good idea. Maybe I'll build one. <laughs> <laughs> not Oops. a good idea. What are you doing? You're going to break his finger? He goes through all that and then he just rips his finger off. Mm -hmm. How? So, uh, who's home? Well, my mom already left for the diner and dad went to 7-Eleven to get scratchers. I, I guess he won because that was six years ago. <laughs> Aww. Which happens, dad's leave. No need to be a pussy about it. Here's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? The kid that bullies you at school. How do you know that? I got just the thing. This is a pinata for a cricket. I'm kidding. It's a very powerful weapon. Point it away from your face. Press the button on top. It discourages bullying. Non-lethal. Just to cover one's ass. Deal? Oh, what did he just get to God. Him? You know what keeps going through my head? Where's my sandwich? Aww. That's the uh, message. Pepper, it's me. Got nice. Apologies to make and not a lot of times. So I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way. That was selfish and stupid and it won't happen again. Why were you at the house tonight? What was so important that you had to speak to Tony? I think that my boss is working for the Mandarin. Your boss works for the Mandarin, you think? But Tony says you're a botanist. It's not figures. So. What I actually am is a biological DNA coder running a team of 40 out of a privately funded think tank. But sure, you can call me a botanist. <laughs> this boss of yours, does he have a name? Yeah, Aldrich Killian. The master's about to record and he's a little, well, you know how he gets. All right, everybody, no talking and no eye contact unless you want to get shot in the face. <laughs> Oh my god, he's staging the whole thing right there. Master is traveling. Well then, what are we waiting for? The sandwich was fair, the spring was a little rusty. That sounds so cool. <laughs> you said your sister had a watch? Kind of hoping for something a little more adult than that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's limited edition. What's the official story here? I guess this guy named Chad Davis used to live around the back. Oh my god. One day, folks said he went crazy and made, you know, a bomb. Then he blew himself up right here. Six people died, right? Including Chad Davis. Yeah. Think about it. Six dead, only five shadows. Yeah. Well, people said these shadows are like the marks of souls going to heaven. Oh, he didn't get one. Except the bomb guy. He went to hell and kind of he didn't get a shadow. That's why there's only five. Do you buy that? That's what everyone says. Are they coming back, the aliens? Maybe. Can you stop? Aww. Remember what I told you that I have an anxiety issue? Are there bad guys in Rose Hill? Do you need a plastic bag to breathe into? <laughs> Do, do, you, do you have medication? Nope. Do you need to be on? Probably. Do you have PTSD? I don't think so. Are you, are you going completely mental? Do you want me to stop? Do you want me to Remember stop? When I said to stop, stop doing that, I'm swear to you, you're going to freak me out. <laughs> you happy now? What did I say? Oh, shit. Hey, hey wait up, wait. Your fault. You spazzed me out. Hey, back to business. Where were we? The guy who died. Relatives, mom, Mrs. Davis. Where is she? Cut. Sorry. Thank you. Nice haircut. Suit you. Nice watch. Yeah, limited edition. <laughs> well, have a good evening. What's up with this lady? I know. Mrs. Davis, mind if I join you? All right. Where'd you like to start? I just want to say I'm sorry about your loss. I want to know what you think happened. Look, I brought your damn file. You take it, go. Whatever was in here, he wanted no part of it. Clearly, you're waiting for someone else. Mrs. Davis, your son didn't kill himself. I guarantee you, he didn't kill anyone. Someone used him. That's what she wanted to hear. It's a weapon. You're not the person that called me after all, are you? Actually, I am. Oh, hey, hey, hey! What's all this about? It's called an arrest. And you are? Homeland Security. We good here? No, we're not good. I need a little more information than that. Well, I think it's a little above your pay grade, Sheriff. Yeah, well, why don't you get on the horn in Nashville and uh, 
upgrade me. I was hoping to do this the smart way. Fanui's always good. Oh my god. Oh my god. You look scary. I was suspicious that that's what she was when I saw those scars. They look like burn marks. Mm -hmm. You and me, let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no ball on him. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That works. I'm scared that she's just gonna explode whenever. What was in that bottle? <laughs> Oil. Yes. Oil don't catch on fire like that. Cooking with kerosene up in there, boy. That's all you got. Definitely not good for the PTSD. In that poor little town. I know. Wrecked up that whole cute little town. <laughs> what in the world? And then they have to look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Is that supposed to be the Chad Davis guy? Wow. Soak them up, boy. Let's go. Hey kid, what would you like for Christmas? Mr. Stark, I am so oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 I think oh. he was trying to say, I want my goddamn file. From what I told you about bullies? <laughs> You like that, Westworld? <laughs> you always cover her ass. I think I'm really becoming a fan of the Hulk, guys. I think I'm leaning towards Hulk. Because I'm always wanting him to show up, right? <laughs> yeah, he said he was looking for his file. And remember, um, they used him in the weapon. Okay, okay. <laughs> Admit it, you need me. We're connected. What I need is for you to go home, be with your mom, keep your trap shut, guard the suit, and stay connected to the telephone. Because if I call, you better pick up. Okay? Can you feel that? We're done here. So he's working for Iron Man now? <laughs> you better discuss pay rates. Yeah, I'm sure Johnny Stark will hook him up. He needs to. He needs to help his mom out. I'm sorry, kid. You did good. So now you're just going to leave him here? Like my dad? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're guilt tripping me, aren't you? I'm cool. <laughs> you know how I can tell? Because we're connected. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really not sure what that stuff does, but. Any decor? Oh, Where's the feed coming? Oh, no, it's in all of our receivers. Mr. Vice President, I think you should see this. We should put that on our screen. Mr. President, only two lessons remain. I intend to finish this before Christmas morning. Meet Thomas Richards. Good, strong name, good, strong job. Thomas here is an accountant for the Roxon Oil Corporation. I'm going to shoot him in the head. <laughs> Live on your television in 30 seconds. <laughs> Number for this telephone is in your cell phone. America, if your president calls me in the next half minute, Tom lives. How did he hack my phone? We can't allow terrorists to dictate. I have to make this call. I strongly advise against that. This is the right thing to do. He said, you ain't in control, Rude. boy. Rude. Was that his way of saying you're not in control? Basically. You have no choice? There's one lesson left, President Ellis, so run away, hide, kiss your children goodbye, because nothing, not your army, not your red, white, and blue attack dog can save you. Now nah, you're going to pay for that one, homeboy. Oh, my gosh. Find this lunatic right now. That man signed his death wish, boy. His death warrant. Well, they better not send Rody by himself. It don't matter. He's about to go take this dude out. Read it backwards the whole time. Don't move. Probably about to laugh. Rody's so funny. Hello. You remember a chick straddling you and you look up and suddenly she's glowing from the inside out, kind of a bright orange? Yeah, I've had that. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> a little knock and talk, making friends in Pakistan. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna find a heavy duty comm set right now. I need your login. It's the same as it's always been. War Machine 68. And password, please. Give me your login. <laughs> War Machine rocks with an X, all caps. <laughs> is so much better than Iron Patriot. I agree. War Machine rocks with an X. <laughs> Iron Patriot just doesn't fall off the tongue very well. What would you like for Christmas this year? Well, David. <laughs> Well, David. Oh, God. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was him. You say, yeehaw. Here he goes. That ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Boy, I got them so opposed bees. I don't know who. Mom, I need to call you back. Something magical is happening. <laughs> Tony Stark is in my van. No, he's not. I knew you were still alive. He said, no, he's not. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. What's your name? Gary. 
<laughs> I get a lot of this. It's okay. I don't know if you can tell, but I have like patterned my whole look after you. <laughs> All right, because there's Fine. no product in it. Right. I don't want to make things awkward for no. you, but I do it have to good. show you. Oh <laughs> my God! Don't. Uh, Hispanic Scott Bale. <laughs> <laughs> I got an issue. I'm chasing bad guys, trying to grab a little something from some hard cryptata files. I don't have enough juice. Pump it up by about 40%. Tony needs Gary. And Gary needs to be quiet. <laughs> He's so pumped that he did that. He's like, no, no, no. What would you regard as the defining moment of your life? Well, uh, I think that'd be the day I decided not to let my injury beat me. Ellen Brandt. Okay, so. That was her. Are administered periodically. Is some more super soldier stuff. Next iteration of human evolution. He's picking like injured military people, it seems like. Are their limbs growing back like that plant did? Maybe. Bay, it's your glory. Ah. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. The cameraman holding in there though. I know. <laughs> he stood in the pocket, boy, like it's the Super Bowl. Stuff doesn't always work, right, pal? It's faulty, but you found a buyer, didn't you? So it's the Mandarin. Before he built rockets for the Nazis, idealistic Werner von Braun dreamed of space travel. He stargazed. Do you know what he said when the first V2 hit London? The rocket performed perfectly. It just landed on the wrong planet. See, we all began wide-eyed pure science and then the ego steps in the obsession and you look up you're a long way from shore oh that was deep for real i know so don't judge yourself oh i really appreciate that <gasps> Maya, run! <gasps> so you want to tell me why you were at stark's mansion last night i'm trying to fix it oh i see so you were trying to save stark when he threatened us i told you killian we can use him look if we want to launch product next year i need stark what a snake so she absolutely full of snakes out here. I don't know, dude. I kind of like the Iron Patriot. It's kind of clean. Nobody I like War Machine better. Yeah, it reminds me of those New England Patriot colors. Mm -hmm. oh. Support Blue Zero. Yes, you're free. Uh, if you weren't before. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's my. Oh God. Uh uh. That girl's from Lost too. Yeah, Shannon. No, her name wasn't Shannon. That was Shannon. Mm mm. That's the plan, Carl. That was the girl who dated the scientist. Remember she got the nosebleeds and passed away? Yeah, she was a little girl in the Dharma Initiative. You guys know It's not Charlotte. About. It's Shannon. It's not Shannon. We'll look it up. Jarvis, how are we? It's totally fine, sir. I seem to do quite well for a stretch. You're always wrong, man. We'll look it up. It's Shannon. I saw on the cast. I was able to pinpoint the Mandarin's broadcast signal. What are we talking? Far East Europe? Wait. Russia oh, my God. Europe. It wasn't Shannon. Absolutely not. I'm going to have to walk you through rebooting Jarvis's speech drive. Does say Miami, Florida. Okay, first things first. I need the armor. Where are we at with it? Uh, it's not charging. Sorry, baby, I'll trust you. <laughs> that was okay. Tony, are, are you having another attack? Oh God, what am I gonna do? You're a mechanic, right? Right. Why don't you just build some? Absolutely. I mean, he built Mark One. Was it called Mark One in a cave? Yeah. Yeah, you can build something out here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took, huh? And he had like no resources then. None. <laughs> Is he about to do this without his suit and everything? <laughs> <laughs> A Christmas ornament. <laughs> <laughs> He like made these silence weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it so hot in here? I told you to put it at 68. Miss you. <laughs> oh, now he's a ruin. What is she on? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that he just got in here with some bootleg equipment. I wouldn't go in there for 20 minutes. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Nessie, did you know that fortune cookies aren't even Chinese. There's some guy over here. They're made by Americans based on a, based on a Japanese recipe. Hey, bloody hell, bloody hell. Don't move. I'm not moving. You want something? Take it. Although the guns are all fake because those wankers wouldn't trust me with the real ones. What? Hey, do you fancy either of the birds? You're not him, the Mandarin, the real guy. He's here, but he's not here. He's what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he called me. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Trevor, Trevor Slattery. Trevor? <laughs> Shout out to my Trevors out there, yo. Don't hurt the face. I'm an actor. Just a role. The Mandarin. See, it's not real. Then how did you get here, Trevor? I, um, 
a little problem with um, substances, and I ended up. Oh. Said they give me more. They gave me. Things. They gave me this palace. They gave me things. Did you just nod off? What? <laughs> you take credit for some accidental explosions. Oh. Wow. So he's like the front man. Yeah. They're just using this guy. Ready for another lesson? Blah blah blah. <laughs> of course, it was my performance brought the Mandarin into life. Your performance, where people died. No, we didn't. Just look around you, costumes, green screen. I'm sorry, but I got a best friend who's in a coma and he might not wake up. So you're gonna have to answer for that. You're still going down, pal. <gasps> but that man is straight to sleep. I didn't tell him anything. Nothing. <laughs> well, I panicked, but then I handled it. <laughs> I'm waiting on the snarky comment, but it's hot up. Like old times, huh? <laughs> there we go. It wasn't my idea. Okay, so you took Killian's card. I took his money. And here you are, 13 years later. In a dungeon. <laughs> no, you're in a dungeon. I'm free to go. Extremis is practically stable. I'm telling you it isn't. You're kidding yourself. And help me. You used to have a moral psychology. Now look at you. I get to wake up every morning with someone who still has their soul. <laughs> she might prove you right. You know what my old man used to say to me? I don't like this guy. The early bird gets the worm. The second mouse gets the cheese. You're not still pissed off about the Switzerland thing, are you? I'm here to thank you. You gave me the greatest gift that anybody's ever given me. Desperation. If you think back to Switzerland, you said you'd meet me on the rooftop, right? And the next hour, I, well, I considered taking that one step shortcut to the lobby, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what happened to the first mouse. <laughs> as I looked out over that city, I had a thought that would guide me for years to come. Anonymity, Tony. Thanks to you, it's been my mantra ever since, right? You simply rule from behind the scenes. Sir Lawrence Oblivier. Ever since that big dude with a hammer fell out of the sky, subtlety's kind of had its day. What's next for you and your world? Now, this is live. I'm not sure if you can tell, but at this moment, the body is trying to decide whether to accept extremis or just give up. And if it gives up, the detonation is it's quite spectacular. Is he really doing it or is he faking it? I have no idea. Let him go. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I said let him go. No. Maya, give me the injector. If I die, Killian, what happens to your... Soldiers, what happens to your product? We're not doing this, okay? What happens to you? What happens if you go too hot? What? A high level position has just been vacated. Straight up. Up on Indeed, y'all. You are a maniac. No, I'm a visionary. I kind of prefer the bad guys that just are bad. They don't think that they're righteous and smart and better than everyone. Oh my god. Cutting them out? They're trying to. Hope is made of vibranium. Oh, he's gonna eject it. He ain't gonna have a choice. Yeah. Don't worry. You'll damage the armor. You can fix it, right? <sighs> oh. The door watch. Careful there. It's a limited edition. What's the mileage count between Tennessee and Miami? 832 miles. Very nice. I'm good like that. <laughs> can you uh, stop that? Break it, you bought it. I think I bought it. Okay, that wasn't mine to give away. That belongs to my friend's sister. I'm gonna kill you first. What are you gonna do to me? You'll see. You're zip tied to a bed. This. <laughs> that. Are you coming out? Do not open, do not open, don't open, don't open. Do All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Rudy. It's a glorious day, Simon. You guys, too much. I'll own the war on terror. Create supply and demand. You're gonna be in a puddle of blood on the ground in five, four, <laughs> three. Come on! Two. How did we get this ship? All right, I'm gonna give you a chance <laughs> to escape. Tie yourselves to those chairs. I'll let you live. I am just beyond terrified. Here it comes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, he was counting the miles in his head. He was stalling, I guess. Yeah. Where's the rest? <laughs> He's a clutch little kid, that's for sure. No one's gonna believe him. What in the world, babe? <laughs> I hate working here. They are so weird. <laughs> <laughs> that, I wish that's how they were in John Wick. I know. <laughs> they are so weird. He's like, I have a family just please. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Crap. Tony. Brody, tell me that was you in the suit. You got yours? Uh, mm, kind of. Main house, fast as you can. Somebody I'd like you to meet. <laughs> you, 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 move! <laughs> <laughs> you can't even be mad at the Mandarin. <laughs> you make a move, you have 
break your face. I never thought people have been hurt lied to me. <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Trevor Sletcher. <laughs> hey, if you're here to arrest me, uh, there's some people I'd like to roll on. In Here's me. how it works. <laughs> I don't know about any pepper, but I know about the plan. Spill. Something to do with um, a big boat. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm gonna blow his face off. Hey, Ringo, didn't you say something about a lovely speedboat? He's right about the location. We're 20 minutes from where Pepper is. But we also have to figure out this vice president thing, right? right. I wonder who I'm calling right now. Oh, that's the vice president. Thanks. Hello? Sir, this is Tony Stark. Welcome back to the land of the living. We believe you're about to be drawn into the Mandarin campaign, and we gotta get you somewhere safe as soon as possible. The president's safe on Air Force One with Colonel Rhodes. Sir, this is Colonel Rhodes. They're using the Iron Patriot as a Trojan horse. Okay, I'm on it. I'll have security lock it down. Everything okay, sir? Couldn't be better. Oh my god. Is he bad too? Love you, baby. Oh no. So yeah, he is. Oh no. Mm-mm. Glad to see you can make it, son. You better go get Pepper, boy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Get a quick picture. Sure. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god, he melted the door closed. Oh my god. If you're gonna do it, do it. That's not how the Mandarin works. Oh, is he taking him? Prisoner or hostage? I don't know, but what does he think? He's about to be the president? Like, what's his name? Like, what's he trying to do? Yeah, he's smiling. He's about to throw you right off that plane. Oh, Didn't Rose has told him not to get touched by him, though? Didn't that know. already happen to him? Yeah, but I don't think he knows that everyone does that. What in the world? This is some powerful stuff here. Walk away from that, you son of a bitch. Yeah, for real. Oh my god. Terrifying. How many in the air? 13, sir. What? Mm -mm, that would be the scariest fall of my life. What's your name? Heather? What? See that guy? I'm gonna swing by you. Are you just gonna grab him? Oh my god. I'll electrify your arm. You won't be able to open your hand. <laughs> Easy. See? 11 more to go. Oh my god. Remember that game called Barrel of Monkeys? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> you better help, bro. <laughs> 1,000 feet. 400. Oh my god. 200 feet, sir. It's a chunky monkey. Let's get it. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. I can swim. I know, for real. Mm -hmm. They're good. <laughs> They're good. They're like so exhilarating. I know. <laughs> All right, Jarvis, but it's only half done. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> Give me some good news, man. I think they all made wow. it. Wow. That was crazy, y'all. That was insane. House party protocols. I'm shocked. <laughs> I forgot about that, honestly. That was cool. That house is still dope. Oh, he's got some secrets on there, maybe. He's gonna help you. Having you here is not just to motivate Tony Stark. It's um, what's actually more embarrassing than that. You're here as my um... trophy. This is the Roxanne Norco. And of course, you'll remember that when she spilled a million gallons of crude off Pensacola, thanks to you, not one fat cat saw a day in court. I just needed a reason to kill you that would play well on TV. String him up. Come on. Freak out on me, right? That was sick. Oh, they, <laughs> oh, they got him strung out like that. Oh what? my god, that is so scary. He's strung up over the oil tanker. They're gonna light him up, man. Broadcast will commence shortly. Take final position. That's good. Now give me cameras A through E. And we'll do a full tech rehearsal. Is your gun up? Yep. <laughs> you see that? Nailed it. Yeah, you really killed the glass. Like I was aiming for the bulb. You can't hit a bulb at this distance. <laughs> <laughs> They're so funny together. What'd you say? Too fast. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that? Yep. Whoa! A bunch of them? All the marks? Merry Christmas, buddy. Jarvis. 
target extremist heat signatures disable with extreme prejudice. Target them with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Take a mature. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, he was nuts. That was cool. Yo, dude, Jarvis <laughs> is becoming one of our favorite characters too, guys. He's kind of like a character, right? Yeah. Jarvis. Whoa. That's Igor. That's Gronkowski. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody needs a hobby. Heartbreaker, help Red Snapper out, will you? Red Snapper. <laughs> He's oh my like, god, my bridge just went. Oh, yeah. So where's mine? Awesome. Give me a suit, okay? I got you covered. Good evening, Cub. Can I give you a lift? There. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing like that? <laughs> Sir, I've located Miss Potts. About time. See what happens when you hang out with my ex-girlfriends. <gasps> oh my god, he's tearing his heart. No, his heart. You know his yeah. reactor. Is this guy bothering you? Don't get up. Is it hot in there? Whoa. Oh, but I bet it grows it back. It goes right back, yep. <laughs> oh no. Give me a shoot right now. Uh uh. That was close. Mr. President, just hold on, all right? I'm coming. Uh -uh. Yo, I'm trying to see him and Captain America work together. I know, because they're they really, be dope. Because they're like tactical. They actually have a plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, he's gonna hop in that suit. He said, I'm right here with you, Mr. President. Wow. <gasps> oh, no. Good shot. Okay, now give him a suit. Look damn good, Mr. President. But I'm gonna need that suit back. There we go. They're gonna get all kinds of awards for this. Absolutely. President is secure, Tony. I'm clearing the area. Ready, sir? What do you mean, ready? <laughs> I got you. Relax. I got you. Just look at me. You gotta let go. I'll catch you. I promise. Oh my God. Catch her. Catch her. No way. Did that really just happen for real? No way. Please it looks just like tell he's about to throw up. Oh my gosh. Oh, but they put that fire stuff in her, though. Remember, oh, so yeah. she's probably okay. I hope. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's what's up. Alright, what's this suit got? Ooh. Finally. Oh my god. Mark 42 inbound. I'll be damned. The prodigal son returns. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Even he was like. <laughs> you really didn't deserve her, Tony. I don't deserve her. Here's where you're wrong. She was already perfect. <laughs> Jarvis, do me a favor and blow Mark 42. No! Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, go look for Pepper now. Oh my god. Never. They just never go away, do they? Now they're worse. No more. You said you wanted the Mandarin. You're looking right at him. I am the Mandarin! There she is. 
Thank God, because I'm sitting here like crying about it. That would have sucked, man. That would have really diminished these movies. Service subject for my 12 o'clock is not a target. Disengage. What? Oh, what are you mad at me? <laughs> So Pepper becomes a superhero for real. <laughs> he goes, woo. I don't know how Tony's going to feel about this. Look at him. <laughs> oh my God. That was really violent. <laughs> why don't you dress like this at home? <laughs> you know, I think I understand why you don't want to give up the suits. Jarvis, you know what to do. Oh, he's blowing him up. Wow. I guess that's what it took, man. You need to keep at least a couple, though. Some things Loki just saved the day. And so, as Christmas morning began, my journey had reached its end. We start with something pure, then come the mistakes, compromises. And on it. We create our own demons. As promised, I got Pepper sorted out, took some tinkering, but then I thought to myself, why stop there? Of course, there are people who say progress is dangerous, but I'll bet none of those idiots ever had to live with a chest full of shrapnel. And now, neither will I. <laughs> Whoa. That was the best sleep I'd had in years. There he is. Oh, it's his episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked him up. Yeah, that's what's up. Wow. Did he talk to his mom about this? Whoa. This hit him by Mark, too. And he got him a little arm. This one's making me really emotional. <laughs> He's developed as a character, hasn't he? So if I were to wrap this up, tie it with a bow, whatever, my armor, it was never a distraction or a hobby. It was a cocoon. And now I'm a changed man. Straight up. <laughs> That's his boy, though. He ain't leaving his boy. One thing you can't take away, I am Iron Man. All right, guys, we're not going to miss an end screen in this one. You know why? We ain't skipping it, baby. We're going to watch all the way through this. You like that? Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? Was it better than the first two? Um, it was the most emotional. <laughs> that guy was funny. I was shocked when he was um staging the whole thing. Because he did a good job of acting scary. Yeah, he did. Yeah, where's the ACDC this one? That kid was cool. He was kind of whack, to be honest. I didn't like him. He wasn't my favorite bad guy, to be honest. He kind of got him on nerves. Wow. I had no idea you were such a good listener. But to share all my intimate thoughts and my experiences with someone, it just cuts the weight of it in half you know it's like a snake swallowing its own tail everything comes full circle bruce <laughs> Sorry, what, you with me it was yeah we were, we were at um you actively napping i i was i i <laughs> so you heard none of it i'm sorry i'm not that kind of doctor <laughs> i'm not a therapist it's not my training you know what, now that i think about it oh god my original wound 1983 all right yes. i'm 14 years old i still have a nanny <laughs> You just got to talk to somebody. All right, guys. So that was Iron Man 3. I really liked the movie. I guess sitting back, looking at the movie in hindsight, I guess basically the question we had to ask herself was, who is Tony Stark really? What's he really made of? And I guess he said in the end of the movie, he pretty much sums it up, man. The Iron Man suit was just a cocoon. He has evolved. He has grown as a person. This movie was really a character development movie. It was all about how people start things with great intentions and, you know, they do things to try to make the world a better place. And then next thing you know, reality kicks in and reality is not really as clean as we'd like it to be. This movie was a really great representation for that girl what did you think about this movie i thought it was great i thought um tony and pepper together that was so good yeah it was really emotional because but i think that something with pepper happens like she becomes like a superhero maybe it seemed like it yeah I mean, and she... and then the other question is what happens with iron man are we gonna see him in any more avengers was iron man 3 the end for him i don't know yeah last thing we saw he destroyed all the suits right yeah i mean last 
less that we know, but he has a hobby, so. Yeah, I got the shrapnel removed, destroyed his suit, so Iron Man is definitely evolving. I'm really interested to see what his character looks like in the next movie. It really kind of got on my nerves at the end of this movie, guys. The Hulk wants to show up and play therapist <laughs> when he should have been playing sidekick this whole time. We really could have used that dude. maybe that was a small little grain of he's still in the Avengers, Tony Stark, because he's still interacting Yeah, he's with still Bruce. interacting, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I expect him to see him there and everything. I just don't know how it's gonna look. Miss Pepper, she needs to evolve some more. I'm ready to see her in an Iron Man suit in the next movie because she was really cool in it. Um, Pepper was amazing in this one. I really, I really like that we got to know her a little more. The bad guy in this movie was kind of busted to me. He wasn't my favorite <laughs> bad guy. I'm gonna keep it honest with you guys. Um, he looked like was, Napoleon Dynamite at the beginning. Maybe it was his like eccentric hand movements all throughout the movie, but he was just too, he was LARPing he kinda, too much. You know what? He kind of reminded me of Justin Hammer. I don't know who that is. The one in the pre the previous villain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, all absolutely. have their own yeah. little like I'm rich guy vibe. Like let me come. Yeah, and he was whack, man. I'm glad. I was glad to see this guy get busted up. Yeah. I had a lot of fun watching this movie, guys. Yo, just real quick, man. To all the people out there who support the videos and who show us love in the comments and stuff, it really does mean a lot to us. We are 30 year olds who do not watch Marvel. We're not really into superheroes. At least we haven't been growing up. This is something that we're reacting to that is genuinely very new to us. A lot of people are really passionate about these movies. A lot of people want us to watch these. And that's the reason that we're watching these man so to the 99 percent of you guys out there who show us nothing but love and positivity you guys are awesome that's who we're looking for but to the one percent of you guys out there man every time we post these videos you just have so many negative things to say. We're, oh, not, really? we're not writing a thesis statement here on Marvel. We're enjoying these movies with you guys. We're having fun with these movies, man. We're not trying to break them down and catch every little thing and write theses. We're not trying to be quizzed on these movies at the end of the day. We're reacting to them. We're enjoying them. They're fun. They're entertainment. And that's what they are at the end of the day. But after 23, sign me up for trivia. I'm going to do it. But with all that being said, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see y'all on the next one.